Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today we're going to be in the USS Omaha. We're going to be on ring to capture the base mode. I wish Wargaming would just remove capture the base. I'm sick and tired of it, but whatever. Um, it's going to work out for us anyway. Now, <laughs> if you guys saw the title, judging by it, um, yeah. This ship is the most underestimated cruiser in the game, and it's an Omaha. And what do we all know? Um, what do we all know about the Omaha? Well, we all know that it is very, 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 very fun to shoot at because it's got a box uh, for a Citadel. It's basically a UPS package sitting in the center of the ship saying, hey, shoot me. And uh, yeah, now I am one of the very few um, people that can actually play this ship very, very well. And you guys are going to see that, just an example of how good I play this ship in this gameplay. Keep in mind, there's going to be some crazy, crazy stuff coming up here shortly. So stay tuned, grab your popcorn, it's going to be a fun one. And if you guys have been in the channel a while, you guys know when I say it's going to be a fun one, I mean it's going to be a freaking fun one. Now, yes, the Omaha has a huge susceptible citadel, it's made of paper, it's like a minotaur at tier 4. You guys cannot be screwing up in this ship. So. What do we do? What do we do when we have no armor? Well, we use islands, we kite, we smoke screens, etc. Utilizing our concealment, utilizing our position. We do not want to be one of those stereotypical Omaha players that rushes in the center of the map, goes broadside, gets dev struck, and gets put into a compilation. You guys cannot be doing this. You guys cannot be doing this, especially in the Omaha, especially in the Pensacola, the Phoenix, pretty much all the American cruisers and most cruisers. You do not want to be playing these ships like a freaking battering ram. If you want to be like that, go get a battleship or something. <laughs> Same thing will probably happen to you, but yeah, it happened. You'll die a lot more quicker if you guys do stupid stuff in cruisers. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm utilizing this smoke screen that's behind me. I'm just sitting here firing my back guns off. Now, one really good thing, guys, about the Omaha. Yes, it's got horrible armor, but one thing that's very good about the Omaha is it's 152 millimeter, six inch American guns. Now, what do you guys think is so special about them? Well, the reload. On my build, I have a 5.9 second reload. My range is very long. I've got a very decent fire chance at 15%. This thing's nasty. And if you guys let an Omaha stay alive, especially me, you guys let me stay alive long enough, I will spam your ass down until you burn down and I get an arsonist. I mean, that's how, that's how it's going to work. Um, so, yeah. This thing's a lot of fun for me. And that's why I actually really, really like the Omaha. Um, I have... Brace for it, guys. I have 1.5 million XP in this ship. So, it is my most played ship. Also, keep that in mind as well. But I, I just really love the high-risk, high-reward um, play style. And um, it's really freaking fun for me. I don't know why I just love sailing around, watching people's shells go completely by me while I just spam them down. And it's absolutely hilarious. And I get away with it because I can actually be pretty decent in it. Um, I'm like one of the only only Omaha players on the spreadsheets that actually um, managed to break 100, 200, almost 200,000 damage games. I don't think I've had too many of those, but um, yeah, if I would have, I probably would have broken a record. But I don't have any proof to show that I ever have broken 200k because I don't, I didn't screenshot a lot of my games um, before. Now I almost screenshot every single good game I get. But yeah, also guys, keep in mind, look at this AP damage. I mean, the AP is fantastic. Do not sneeze on the AP on these 152 millimeter guns. I mean, it is nasty. And as you guys can see there, we absolutely obliterated that cruiser. And that was all actually our first kill of the game. So, very nice indeed. Now, one thing I also need to point out too is this ship has sonar. It has a plane, of course. The AA is absolutely atrocious. But, um, yeah. Now, the one thing that's really good with this ship is its maneuverability. It's actually quite agile for a cruiser. It turns pretty well. Um, I'm not going to spec into an agile build for it. Um, because I just do not want to lose five to six kilometers of range and all that stuff. That's just not worth it to me. And the concealment's pretty good. Um, it's pretty average, though, I think, for the tier. Um, because most cruisers have around 10 kilometer concealment anyway. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Now, notice we're not rushing at this battleship. We're angling away. I mean, angling doesn't matter. We're more like kiting away. We're trying to get as much range between me and him as possible. So that way his shells take longer to get there. I have more time to dodge, etc. Range is very important with this ship. If you guys have seen any of my other cruiser gameplay of me and like the Cleveland or the Flymar or whatever, you guys know you cannot be stupid in those ships. Yes, they got great guns, but they've got horrible armor. And yeah, so as you guys can see here, this this New York is almost dead to our fire. And um, 
And uh, he's just taking forever to die. It's only a matter of time, bud, before you're going to be sent back to port. Um, and yeah, there we go. And by the way, arsonist. Yeah, and a tier four. Yeah, people, if you guys send me out in the Omaha, you know, just just be careful. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else, but just be careful because I'm not your typical Omaha player. Um, so, yeah, 75,000 damage in the first five minutes of the match in an Omaha. What else can you ask for? <laughs> I just like this ship, and I'm probably, guys, going to be picking up the Murmansk. I'm at 3.9 thousand steel. I would have been able to pick it up uh, already, but I spent my steel on, like, um, insignias or whatever. Um, so, yeah. Then they added in the Murmansk. because like, shit, it's Omaha. Can't even get it, because I didn't save my steel. But, uh, yeah, I probably will be picking up the Murmansk, because I think it's actually better. It's got better, um... It's got better maneuverability, I believe, better AP shell penetration. It's, it's just a better Omaha, and I would love to have that thing in my port. Now, the Marblehead, I actually never managed to really pick that thing up, um, but I wish I would have got it, but I didn't. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Now, as you guys can see here, this this Isakazi, man, yeah, he's getting screwed up, but fortunately for him, he does manage to smoke up. And uh, now we are going to rush him down. Now, do keep in mind that Isakazi, I believe, is with a division mate. Um, so we're gonna possibly smack the crap out of them. So we're up to 82,000 damage. We've got two kills, a few citadels, high caliber, and an arsonist. This is looking like a tier 7 game to me, in a tier 4. Damn. Uh, yeah, most underestimated cruiser right here for you guys. But um, we are rushing down these smoke screens here. I'm trying to see if I could send Torps in. I'm looking at the, the mini map, seeing if I'm in range. And it looks like I am, so I send them in there. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe I won't. Who knows? But, uh, yeah, we are pushing these smoke screens, and we're waiting for our sonar to come back online so uh, we can pop that. But I don't think it will be anytime soon. We're going to have to manually spot these dudes. So now we're going to send some widespreads out there, too, because why not? Now, um, yeah, typical cruiser play for you guys. Um, you know, trying to hunt down destroyers, taking care of them when needed, um, and etc. I mean, the Omaha, like I said, guys, if you guys really want to go hard mode um if you guys like even kiting cruisers try the omaha and actually play it at range and see how it works for you guys because it's actually not a bad boat um as long as you don't get hit and uh <laughs> we just dev struck that destroyer with our guns that's incredible um yeah and we're about to do the same thing to his uh buddy here in the valkyrie these poor poor souls i'm totally seal clubbing these guys at this point um but then again they shouldn't have picked a tier 2 and a tier 3 lobby, but, you know, and, yeah, there's our Kraken Unleashed. Oh, boy. Yeah, I like this ship, and I uh, hope you all did enjoy, because that's about it. Now we're going to spam down this carrier a bit. There's only two ships left on the enemy team. And, uh, yeah, if you guys tuned in this far, hey, drop the like button and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out a lot. And uh, if you guys want to leave a comment on the video as well, I don't be shy in there, guys. If you guys are or shy of the comments don't be i get back to everybody i can i'm not a jerk or anything um as long as you're positive in the comments um if you enjoy the video say hey you enjoy the video i'll get back to everybody i can um i'm just trying to talk here also i got a confederate there but i'm just trying to talk here because cruiser gameplay guys if you're not aware it's very difficult to do commentary over because it's the same exact thing over and over again it's not like a battleship where if I shoot off a salvo, I can talk about, are we going to get lucky this time or not? No, no, no. A cruiser is the same thing over and over and over and over again. Not to mention, did you guys notice I got Citadels with HE on that carrier? Also, sixth kill of the match. Pretty crazy. But, uh, yeah. I just like the Omaha people. And y'all may not like it. You guys probably think it's the same ship. <laughs> uh, it's the same kind of thing. They get Citadel just like the Pensacola. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Pensacola. I would like the Pensacola, but the thing is about the Pensacola is it's freaking gun traverse. God, it's bad. It's just a bad ship. The guns are great, but the guns themselves, the turrets, do not turn. And that is very difficult if you're trying to kite around because you have to... Yeah, it's it's atrocious to play. Um, but Omaha, however, I love this ship. And it's fantastic as long as you don't, get screw, you don't screw up in it. It's like the Minotaur. You guys know it. It's got very strong guns, but really shit armor. <laughs> basically that's the only way i know how to put it it's a glass cannon at heart but yeah i hope you all did enjoy this one um it did take a bit of courage for me to get up and do this video today i've been having some problems in real life um you know just just life itself it gets rough sometimes but um yeah i hope you all did enjoy i mean there's only one ship left i'm just firing at this guy at this point maybe i can get a seventh kill but i don't think i do if i remember correctly but yeah, look at all the medals, guys. Look at all the medals in the top right of the cor uh, top right of the screen. And also, 121,000 damage. Jesus. <laughs>
What else can you say, man? What else can you say? So, yeah, the match is almost over. And uh, it's only a matter of time here before this Congo succumbs to his injuries and, uh, yeah, loses the match. So, we just got to wait. But, uh, yeah, I hope you all are enjoying the update as well. The update has been pretty interesting so far. I'm really, as I've been saying in my previous videos, I'm really excited for the rank that's coming out. Um, I cannot wait to play ranked. Um, I, it, because of the fact that it's 1v1s, hello, I don't got to worry about teammates as much. Of course, you still got to worry about, you know, being in a battleship fighting a destroyer. Pretty unbalanced, but, you know. What can you do? It's World of Warships, and yeah, a lot of things are unbalanced in this game, as we all know. But there is the battle ended. I hope you all enjoyed. I think I've said that for the fifth time now. But I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, punch a like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're at 373 subscribers at the time recording this video. The road to CC. But uh, anyway, I hope you all did enjoy. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Um, look at that, though. I mean, just look at the match. But uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful match. No words really there, but uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy as always.